Hello everybody, I'm really happy to be with you today. I will present you our new Hydrury collection. We called it Contemplation. Contemplation is a theme that is really dear to my heart. It's quite personal, in fact. It aims to highlighting uh, the beauty of simple moments, such as the passing of a cloud, the caress of a feather, or a swirling of birds. This challenging time I've shown how being connected to nature in that way could do good to the human that we are. Take the time to contemplate and I hope it will bring you a peaceful moment. Goutte de ciel, sky drop. This necklace was created with the idea of capturing the impalpable. It is like offering a piece of sky. It took a long time, but we have found a material that has the same properties as the sky. This material is called aerogel. NASA used aerogel placed on panel in space to capture stardust. For me, this matter is quite amazing because he has the lowest density in the world. It consists of 99.8% of air and the rest is silica. Aerogel may be blue here, but its projected shade has the color of the sunset. Our craftsmen encapsulated aerogel in a rock crystal drop and we choose the choker to be in rock crystal and diamond so as to highlight our sky drop. At the end, when you wear this necklace, it's like wearing a piece of sky on your skin. En passant, passing through. We wanted our clouds to be contemporary and yet poetic. We found this design in the archive, which turned out to be a perfect inspiration. In our creation, we represented our clouds as size gradations of diamond. On this pair of asymmetrical earrings, it is as if the clouds were passing behind and in front of the ear. On the ring, the clouds seem to be floating on the finger. When you look at the piece, the cloud is passing by. Fenêtre sur ciel, window onto the sky. The inspiration for this necklace was James Turrell installation in Naoshima, Japan. It's an opening in the ceiling onto the sky. When lead, our necklace resembles exactly a window onto the sky, but when worn, it has the suppleness, the fluidity of a sky fabric. This necklace is a very supple titanium knit. Every hexagon of the knit is covered either in mother of pearl or in diamond. The sky pattern was airbrushed on the mother of pearl. The stone at the center of our necklace it's a Tanzanite sugarloaf in a diamond stripe. It's truly like if you wear a piece of sky. Bleu infini, infinite blue. We wanted to freeze the time right before a drop drops. For those earrings, we designed the stone as stretched as possible. Then, spur shape are never as stretched as they are on the sketch. So we were really, really happy to find those elongated aquamarines. Good de silence, silence drop. We apply the same principle of stretching drop on our Serpent Bohème icon. We kept the initial codes of Serpent Bohème, but we stretch the drops. It 
the drops are made of mother of pearl and diamond marquetry. And it gives you the freedom to wear because you can, for example, wear this necklace in a long version, like a sautoir, or in a shorter necklace. And for the earrings, that's quite the same. You can choose to wear it in the longer version, or you can simply detach the pear shape like that and wear it in a shorter version. Avant le frisson, before the frisson. Dandelions represents the lightness and purity of flora. As children, many of us have blown on dandelions and watched the feather-like seeds fly away in the air. The necklace, the earrings and the ring are figurative. We want it to be as close as possible to reality. The asymmetrical earrings show a large dandelion flower on one side and a diamond paved dandelion leaf on the other side. This ring is a two-part ring which offers the freedom to wear. Since one part of the ring is a dandelion flower and the other part is the leaf, both can be worn either together or separately. Every seed is mounted on a titanium thread, meaning the flower isn't rigid but flexible. Every titanium thread is as thin as a hair. We also worked on dandelion in an abstract manner. The choker has a titanium threads ending in gold and diamond seeds. It reinvents the trembler thanks to the titanium threads which react like springs. This way, we get the same vivid effect as on the trembler, but without all the mechanism traditionally required. Au gré du vent, carried by the wind. In addition to dandelions, grass is yet another plant that evokes the lightness and softness of nature. Here is our white gold and diamond interpretation of a grass brooch that was made by Boucheron in the late 90s. Caresse de plume, feather caress. This set evokes the softness of down. It is warm and comforting. We have kept the volume of a small feather as it blows in the wind. You can't see the body of the ring, as if the feather was fallen onto the hand. The craftsman managed to work the mother of pearl in a very, very thin and curved manner. They even succeed to engrave the lashes of the feather on the mother of pearl. What I really love on those pieces is that you can feel that they are totally delicate, soft. Batmandel, fluttering wings. Down was all about softness, and those wings are more about protection. 
And in fact, we choose this tiara from 1906 and we create all the sets starting from that. Murmuration, murmuration. For me, it represents lightness, freedom, and I also like the sound of this bird's ballet. The challenge here was to minimize as much as possible the scales of birds, with them still looking as a flock of birds. This murmuration was engraved within crystal through a laser process. Rock crystal, with its clearness and purity, was the perfect material for those pieces. They are like windows onto a murmuration. We also work on the same concept of murmuration with this asymmetrical earring. You can see the birds made of diamond and white gold flying around the, the ear and in the top of the ear as well. Elle du vent, wings of the wind. We choose to include a swallow to this contemplation collection. Swallows are birds I love to watch in spring on a quiet day. Flèche du temps, time arrow. Looking back at the archive, we found this brooch from 1919, which has perfectly traveled through the ages. We choose it as an inspiration and to give it more modernity, we focus on the style. On this set, we propose quite modern style, like a torque necklace, an asymmetrical earring, and a brooch. Murmure d'étoiles, star murmure. The perfume bracelet with its spectacular cabochon is one of the Boucheron icons. The creative concept here was to dress our perfume bracelet with a wonderful sky night. We set an exceptional 150 carat Tanzanite on top of it and choose blue adventure in glass for the sides so as to perfectly mimic the stars in a clear night sky. Nuage en apesanteur weightlessness cloud. For this piece, everything starts with a dream. I dreamt of creating a cloud. A diamond cloud that will be levitating around a woman's neck. We wanted our necklace to have the aerial effect of a cloud and to render its extreme delicateness and lightness. First of all, we didn't start with a drawing, but directly from a cotton mock-up that we placed on a bust, we scanned it, and it allowed us to create the, the envelope of our cloud. Then we had the chance to meet a programmer, and we explained to him the vision we have for our cloud. So for us, it was droplets of different sizes, assembled with more or less density. Based on those criteria, this programmer created an algorithm. We used this algorithm to 
create a multiple version of a 3D cloud until we found the, the perfect one. So when giving life to this cloud, we replaced all the dots by more than 5,000 diamonds. Very small glass balls were added to enhance the brilliance of this diamond cloud. It also has a unique foamy texture. It's quite amazing. It means that if you press it, it will naturally come back to its original shape. At the end, my dream come true. <laughs>